So here we are outside the headquarters of the Cheltenham Civic Society at Palmore House in beautiful Lippiat Terrace in Cheltenham. And we're here because it's Cheltenham Heritage Open Days. That's right. We're going inside in a minute. We're going to the Civic Society's office where they've got a collection of scrapbooks all connected with the Civic Society and press cuttings from the from the local newspaper. We're going to have a look through those cuttings and uh, hopefully find something interesting that we can make a film about. Right, well I'm intrigued to find see what we'll find out because that collection goes back quite a way, doesn't it? Sure does. Let's see what we find. Okay. Right, I've opened this book, uh, page 70, 10th of February 1969. Headline is, St John's is down but clock ticks on. What's that about then? Well, this story is about a, a Cheltenham clock making company, Sinclair Harding, who found a very old church clock from, dating from 1830s uh, laying in a garage waiting to go to scrap because the church it came from had been demolished. Apparently they're going to restore it and have it uh, sold in an antique shop. It was made by a company called John Deden, a famous London clockmaker and given to the church by Mrs. Henry Thompson. Well, I, I wonder who she was and uh, where the clock is now. Should we go and find out? Yeah, let's go. Henry Thompson was a wealthy banker who bought and developed a lot of the land in the south of the town in the early 19th century, including the Montpellier area. He also built a house and a spa for himself, which is Hygieia House, which is still there. The Rotunda Spa, which was a very, very popular spa, and the Montpellier Baths, which is now the Playhouse. His son Pearson eventually took over and had a big dome added to the Rotunda Spa by the famous architect John Papworth. And he also developed a lot of the Lansdowne estate. So now we're in town on the corner of Albion Street and Barclay Street on this patch of land. This doesn't look very promising, Phil. Why have you brought me here? Well, apparently, Mike, there was an, an Anglican church built here in 1827. Uh, and this was St. John's, the St. John's Church. Uh, the church had a churchyard. There would have been graves here. Uh, it was a sort of Gothic style church. The original one was knocked down and the Victorians, they're very well known for building Gothic style you know, buildings and they built a gothic church here um, demolished in 1967 who's the architect of the church do we know that oh uh, the architect was john Buonarroti papworth who as i mentioned earlier did a lot of work developing the town yeah and he was of course uh, working with the thompsons he was indeed here we are then at church number two which church is this mike well, this is uh, St. James's Church, or was St. James's Church, in Suffolk Square in Cheltenham. This was originally built in 1825, and the ground uh, was given by the Earl of Suffolk's daughter. Then donated so it could be uh, built as a church. Um, it was finished off by Papworth again, and uh, he put that uh, pediment on the roof, especially so the clock could be put up there. Ah, I see the clock's not right. The, the clock's obviously not working at the moment. Can we go into the church and have a look at the workings of the clock? Uh, well, at the moment, the, the, uh, it's no longer a church again. This one's been closed, but this one has been was originally turned into a parish hall, and now it's an Italian restaurant. Oh! <laughs> but the clock mechanism is up there behind that little wooden uh, box set mechanism. Oh, I see. Well, that louvered little thing at the back there. That wooden yeah, yeah it looks a bit like a bee. We're now outside the old parish church of Cheltenham, St Mary's, now referred to as the Minster. Why have you brought me here? Well, I found another article in the scrapbook, Mike, uh, which says about the clock quartet. And Judith donated these clocks, but she wanted the clocks all to be the same as the clock on the parish church. This one here, uh, which, as you can see, is a working clock. Ah, oh, well that might have been fairly easy, because the person she asked to make the three clocks she was giving, Dens of London, they made this clock. I see. Dens, I read somewhere, Dens clock, that they were actually in Cheltenham. 
Yes, I think they were based in London, but had a, uh, an office or a shop in the High Street. We might go and look for that later on. It'd be good, Mike, if we could go and have a look at the workings of this clock. Well, I think we might be uh, uh, fortunate. I've been in touch with the church and I'm hoping to meet a gentleman here who may be able to help us. Hello. Up the first set of steps at the Minster in Cheltenham to go and have a look at the clock. Hello, good morning. Got my phone on my helmet. I'm Phil. And Reg is very kindly showing us the, the clock. So I'm going to go up here. First trapdoor slides back. I've then got two trapdoors to unlock. Right. So once I've unlocked the second one, then I'll go on up and you can follow us from the other. Right. Okay. Thank you.